Hey, good morning, guys. It is Wednesday, uh, April 7th. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Brennan. I'm a part-time reseller. Um, and I've got, I think, about eight items that are going out here uh, this morning. Um, and for the most part, these are all really small, easy-to-ship items, which I absolutely love. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go over those. I've only got one big item, and it's not too, too terrible uh, to get packed up. But this other stuff is super easy, which is fantastic. So let's take a quick look. All right, so I've got four different sets of uh, the chess magazines. Uh, so like I said, the, the chess stuff just kind of comes in, comes in waves. Um, and usually, usually one person will buy multiple things, which is really cool. Um, so here we've got the Chess Life 2006. Uh, this is a full set. I think I took an offer of $10 on that one. Um, and again, all, all of the chess stuff, uh, we're, we're way past uh, everything being pure profit now. So anything that sells chess is, is profit. Um, so I, I'm definitely more willing to take offers at this point because I sold so much and still have a decent bit left. Um, so it's, it's all profit. It's all, all great stuff. Uh, so here, um, one, one, one person bought three different sets here, um, and I don't remember the, uh, I think they were all, for, it was a total of $35, so um, I definitely took, took some offers, kind of cut this down, um, so it's quite a bit of magazines for 35 bucks, but really, again, trying to make some more space, get rid of some of the stuff that's been sitting there for, for a bit. Uh, I've got this SimCity Super Nintendo game. Uh, I think I bought this a while back. Uh, I think this was part of a bulk buy. Um, uh, on I think it was a Facebook Marketplace buy where I bought a couple different Super Nintendo games. They've been pretty slow to move because they're not of them are really that great. But this one sold for nine dollars and ninety cents. Um, so this here, this guy's pretty interesting. This is a um, a dam troll. So. Um, I guess a, a quick way you can tell that if you see one out of sale, it's got this 604 stamp on the bottom. Um, that almost always signifies that it is a, a dam, so D-A-M, a uh, doll from Germany. You probably can't see the writing here, but if, if you do find one, um, if you look under, under the neck here, or under the hair back here, it'll say, uh, it'll say Thomas Dam 1977. Uh, made in Denmark. Um, so these are these are pretty cool. Some of these can go for for really really good money. Uh, this one sold for fifteen. It sold pretty quick, and this was free. <laughs> um, I think when I bought my Latour bike, uh, I saw this um, sitting on the table and asked how much that you can just take it. So pretty awesome. All right. So up next here, I've got some some media, some small media which I love. Uh, so here we've got the Bushwick Bill Little Big Man. Uh, this cassette sold for $13. And the Easy E cassette uh, sold for $22. These both sold super, super quick. Um, so again, these the old the very the old school hip hop, um, the, the gangster rap uh, cassettes do do very well. Um, I don't know exactly why, but <laughs> I know that they do sell. So these sold pretty quickly, pretty happy about that. I think I showed, I bought, I think maybe, I think it was like maybe eight or so cassettes all together uh, for five bucks total. So already doing very well there. Here we've got Ice Ice Baby. This did not sell. Uh, this is going out to Jimmy. Uh, he was the first one to comment. Uh, and he wanted this one. So this is going out to him. Um, there seemed to be actually a little bit more interest than I thought there would be uh, in Vanilla Ice. So, you know, if I find some more, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Uh, here we've got the Back to the Future um, cassettes. Uh, these have uh, I've been sitting on these for a little while. Uh, I did eventually take an offer of fifty dollars for the pair, which is awesome. Um, I had it listed at seventy, uh, and I did have it listed for for a little while there. So the fifty was a pretty pretty solid offer. So yeah, so keep keep an eye out for odd odd media like this. Um, it's like I almost any time if I see a a box of cassettes, I'll at the very least I will take a look at them, and you know if it's like five bucks for the whole box of cassettes, I'll usually just take it, um, 
and then you know I'll look things up and see if I can find something in there. But I, I like I like this sort of stuff. So this this comes back to the flipping things that you enjoy looking at and looking up because uh, that makes it feel a little less like work <laughs> um, if you enjoy what you're doing. So that's that's the tip of the day. Uh, and then here we've got the the Bose Acoustamass. Um, I probably could have parted this out. I actually got a couple comments saying um, probably would have been able to sell sell each of these uh, individually uh, and make a little bit more money. I typically don't like to part things out unless it doesn't work. Um, just because I, I like to just get it get it out and bring something else in. Um, so if it doesn't if it works, I, I'm I'm pretty good with um, going ahead and just doing it as as one big lot there. Uh, so this ended up selling for 105, so not uh, not too shabby there. All right, guys, I think that's it for today. I'm um, gonna go ahead and get these things packed up, and I gotta get to gotta get to actual work. So appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, stay curious.